Hello all and welcome to the Mug Life DIY. I am Julia and I am so excited that you decided to stop by my channel. So today I have five DIYs for you and they're all kind of a combination of DIYs. This first one is taking a Dollar Tree, no, this is not Dollar Tree. This is Dollar Spot from Target. This little circle, I believe it was three or five dollars. I will have to look at the little price tag a stencil from my friend's Lisa's house and some Dollar Tree rub on transfers. Okay, I have not stenciled. It's been a hot minute. So you gotta bear with me, okay? So I am not a professional stenciler. I have definitely done better work. I was not completely happy with this. I'm not quite sure if it was the brush I was using or you know what I always tend to do. I just use too much paint and it bleeds, but you know, I will show y'all some other videos, okay? I'll have them linked, okay? <laughs> Give me a little bit of, mm, a little bit of patience. Anyways, I just took some black acrylic paint and just went over the wording, he is risen, um, a Bible verse in the New Testament in Matthew. And I just really thought this would be a beautiful round decor sign. Kind of changed my mind mid-direction with it, but I wanted it very simple and streamlined. So that's why I decided to just go with the black paint for the center portion and then to add the green paint on the outer section. Now I can say I wasn't quite a fan of this brush from Target, but I just kept going with it. And honestly, I just think I was just a little bit too heavy handed with the brush. And I definitely wasn't happy with the end product, but I kind of just kept pushing through just to finish it. And I did add a few other layers of color. I added a little bit of gold and just lightly tapped that in and just added a really nice kind of effect to it. And bear with me, yes, it did bleed, but I did go back and fix it. And today is a really fun collab that I'm doing with my friends, Creating Faith Collab. It's got all of these amazing creators for you. I will have the link in the description box and also the playlist for all of these amazing videos. It is hosted by my friend Catherine, A Perfect Place to Start, and Crafty Lini. And as I said, I will have all of the channels linked in my description box, and I hope you guys will have an amazing playlist to watch. So the only thing I could think of was to go back in with a white, very fine paintbrush and yeah, fix it. Oh my goodness. And it's like driving me insane that I can see the color variation, but let me just say this at nighttime when I was crafting, I didn't notice it as much. So it's going to go high up. That's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> So I'm taking some of these Dollar Tree rub on transfer decals, whatever we're calling them. And I'm just going to kind of varnish, varnish them on just to kind of layer it because I thought it would help blend in the not so great greenery that I stenciled on. But let me just say this. Last time I used these little rub on transfers from Dollar Tree, I swear they did not go on this great. So I don't know if they have changed or I've just gotten better at them, but the hardest part for me was literally taking them off. I don't have fingernails, so that was a little bit hard for me. So maybe I should break out another Cricut tool and my tweezers because that was the hardest thing for me to do after I rubbed them on. Getting that little plastic film off, I, I don't know. It was, it was very difficult. So I just kind of added more and more pieces till I really liked the ending outcome. Let me know if you like using these cause I am going to use the whole pack on several projects today. So I was highly impressed. I got them from my friend, Lisa. She kept telling me, you can do it, you can do it. But I was quite happy with how they turned out in the end. So let me know if you guys have crafted with these, used these or love or hate them because I'm kind of turning to the dark side and I think I like them. I might use them in other DIYs and videos. Uh, I don't know. I just really liked how easy they were and I didn't have to break out my Cricut or anything because sometimes I'm just a little bit lazy. Anyone else? <laughs> 
And then I wanted to add a little bit of greenery at the top of my wood round. So then I just stapled some little random pieces that I had from my greenery stash and then just kind of layered them until I thought it looked fluffy enough. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> so I didn't really use any floral pieces. I just wanted it all greenery. I just wanted it very um, light, I'm gonna say, and I am not great at making bows. So I am not gonna show you how I whipped that little bow together. I would refer back to much more talented bow makers. And just to kind of blend it in a little bit more, I just dry brushed some white chalk paint over top. And I think that helped a little bit, but <sighs> perseverance, that's the word tonight. <laughs> so this ne next project is using the Dollar Tree Spot little frame. I did have to paint the outside edge black because it was chipping a little bit. Now I'm taking some leftover Scrabble pieces. My friend Lisa, who is like the only person I know that has so many crafting things that she wants me to come shop within her craft crafting stash. <laughs> Do you guys have crafting friends like that where you guys craft together, you shop together, you, you know, just encourage each other? I'm telling you, you all need that one craft buddy, okay? If you don't have one, I'll be your craft buddy. I will encourage you to craft through. So I wanted something very simple and I could keep up pretty much year round. You guys know I love year round decor and I wanted to, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna keep this or if I'm going to give it to a family member. I haven't quite decided but we have had a crazy past few months with my family and everything we have been going through. So I was reminded of a beautiful hymn. You guys may be familiar with it. It is well with my soul. It, I had read the story of, you know, how the person who wrote it and who he had helped compose him, but even just referring back to it, it broke my heart. And I was just like, if he can write this song and bring some comfort to himself, his family, I just thought it was a beautiful sentiment that I wanted to put down using just something so simplistic as these Scrabble tiles. And I just love how it came together. And I did add those two little um, rub on decals from the Dollar Tree. And then I just glued the top section of each of my Scrabble pieces. I did lay it out first just to kind of get the placement that I was happiest with and then I placed them down. I just thought this made it a little bit easier for me when I was working out how to put them and then I used my heat gun to get rid of all of those little glue gun strays. And I think this third project may be the easiest, but I think it's my favorite. It turned out so beautiful. Now this little church frame has already been painted it's also for my friend Lisa. She gave me most of these project pieces to finish. I took one of the Dollar Tree little decals that they have, and I just used that first section, the faith. And I kind of just dry brushed a little bit over the window frame and along the edges and kind of just added a few layers of white. And then I also framed it out a little bit with some black paint, just because I wanted to blend it in the best that I could. And I think it ended up pretty well. Then I'm also gonna take that little Dollar Tree cross. And at first I thought I was gonna put it over the window and I did change my mind. I put it over the other side. I just kind of played with it, <laughs> not quite sure, but I do love how it ended up on the other side <laughs> right there. I think it, at first I thought it might've been too large, but I was happy with it. Now in that little pack of rub on transfers was that little eucalyptus wreath. And like I said, this is all from the same little pack and I just cut it down into the space and it fit perfectly. And I thought it just tied a really nice pop of greenery to the piece and just kept rubbing it. Now, I did not quite rub it all the way. So when I initially took it off the top section, oh no, it totally didn't come off. And I was like, oh, I ruined it. How am I gonna fix it? But I just placed it right back on, rubbed it some more until I almost 
felt it lift off from the transfer sheet and I was so happy that I was able to save it because I did not want to break out the sander and try to fix this piece. So I was happy that I was able to save it. I did paint on the inside of my little church just to finish it off with white just to complete the overall look. Now, this little book stack may look familiar <laughs> if you guys love my clearance haul from Dollar General. I love shopping at clearance and I believe I paid 30 cents for this little book stack. It did need a few little repairs, but other than that, I thought it was going to transform into a really, really cute piece that I can keep up much longer. Now, one of my favorite Bible verses, which it's actually mentioned so many times in the Bible, which is the verse or the phrase to be still. I actually have it tattooed on me. It is a constant reminder for myself because I am that person that I am constantly going. I am constantly moving, I'm constantly trying to be in control. And I feel the most at peace when I am not in control and I just let go and let God. And I wanted to kind of have that reminder for myself in a really simple way. So I took this book stack and I did about two to three coats just to cover up the fall saying that was on it. Then I just used my heat gun and let it <laughs> sped up the process of the drying time. And all I had to do was paint it. That was it. Like sometimes it's that easy to upcycle something that you pay 30 cents for <laughs> into something that's going to match your decor. And I took this also clearance Hobby Lobby <laughs> Christmas ribbon. Yeah, Christmas, but I think it's beautiful. I don't quite always see something and think automatically Christmas. This one kind of had a birch wood effect to it and I really loved the pattern to it. So I glued it several ways around it just to tighten it up and to make sure that it was extra secure around my little faux book stack. And then I kind of thought, hey, that's a little plain, but I didn't quite want a bow. So I kind of played around with a couple of ideas using a different ribbon or if I should just add some little tails, which I ended up just doing little tails and then re-gluing that little beaded section. Then I grabbed my letter stamps and some ink, which I'm pretty sure I need some more I am running out of. And I just stamped Be Still, which this was so much harder than I thought it would be because you can kind of see <sighs> I was struggling along the edges. Maybe it was because my book stack was rounded. So I had to kind of, you know, do the angle and roll it and uh, I just wasn't happy. So I just distressed the edges with a little bit more of my ink. Now project five is going to be a long sign piece. You can use any scrap wood that you have but all of my scrap wood that I have is outside and it was raining when I was doing these projects. So my original idea was to use my palettes, but you gotta make what you gotta have. So I just used a Dollar Tree long sign, some of my favorite scrapbooking paper, and then cut it down to the size of the top and the bottom of the sign. And then I just Mod Podge that down. And lo and behold, I was also running out of my white paint. So I didn't get to paint it as much as I wanted. So I just used what I had, added a little bit of water and watered the paint down. So it would blend out a little bit better. I mean, sometimes you just got to keep going, right? Like when you're crafting and you have kids and your husband's deployed, you know, you can't always just run out to the store if you need something. So I am most of the time limited to what I have or if I do need something, I go to my friend's house if she happens to have it. But carting three kids around always isn't a practical, you know, or fun situation for me. So I'm trying not to go out if I don't have to get something, 
So I'm just getting a little bit more creative with my crafting options. So if you didn't notice what my favorite thing to do with Mod Podge is I spritz it with my water. It just allows it to adhere better and the paper kind of becomes a little bit more malleable to the Mod Podge and the surface that you are actually trying to adhere it to. I don't know why, it works out amazingly. If you are terrified of Mod Podge, try this hack. 100% it will help you out. It helps with the bubbles, it helps with the adhesion. It's amazing. So I just did that to the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to take my Dollar Tree um, sticker, vinyl, decal, whatever you wanna call it, which is the Lord's Prayer. And then I am just going to place it in the center section of my already evaporated white <laughs> paint. And I do plan on putting this in my kid's bathroom. I have a lot of black and white decor in there. So I am going to seal it with my waterproofing Mod Podge, which I don't show my, uh, I don't show myself doing that, but I just wanted to give you that extra little pointer, depending on where you would put a sign like this, you might have to do an extra step like that. I did add some cork ribbon to the top and the bottom just to kind of finish it off. I thought it needed something else, but that's just me being a little bit extra. Now I do love this decal and both of my sons are learning this in their school. The Lord's Prayer is something that I feel like so many people may be familiar with or they might know it, but they've never actually memorized it or they didn't know it was actually from the Bible, but it was when Jesus was with his disciples and he said, you know, they were asking him to teach him how to pray. And I think it's a wonderful and beautiful reminder that even me with my kids, we can memorize the Lord's Prayer together, even if it's just by seeing it up on the wall. They have that wonderful little reminder. And here is how all of my projects turned out together. I really do love them even through all of the frustrations with my craft sometimes. I just love crafting. I love creating things and this wonderful collab that I was invited to participate in. It's just even that more that much more beautiful that I can share my love and my savior with you guys. I hope that you are encouraged and that if you do need some prayer reach out. I know Wendy from her channel, she always has a prayer page that if you do need prayer that you are being thought of. And I just wanted you guys to hear that also as well. You can always reach out to me. I am always on Instagram. And if you ever need anything, just message me anytime. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Palm Sunday leading to our Easter Resurrection Sunday. Thanks guys. And I'll see you next time.